It feels like 5G has barely just arrived and already folks are looking ahead for what comes next. That breakneck speed of innovation and technology has many users excited about the eventual arrival of the next generation of connectivity, something that many are assuming will be dubbed 6G. But with 5G having just fully arrived, how long will it be before we see this next moment of revolutionary technology? And just how revolutionary will it be? Does 6G just mean faster connections or something more? In today's video, we're going to take a glimpse into the future and see just what 6G could look like. What will 6G technology bring? If you ask any average person about the differences between 3G, 4G, and 5G connectivity, they will most likely say that the higher the number, the faster the connection speeds. This means you can send messages faster, download content faster, get directions faster, and so on. But with each new generation of connectivity, there have been improvements well beyond the speed at which data is transferred. Engineers have developed more and more innovative ways for your devices to interact with the internet and other devices around them using these improved connective generations. Things like augmented reality, airdrop, and nearby file sharing, as well as improved Bluetooth connections developed alongside these generational improvements. So yes, 6G will definitely be faster than 5G, but it could bring a whole lot more with it too. How much faster will 6G be than 5G? Well, at the time of this writing, there isn't a clear answer to the question. 6G research and development is in extremely early stages. However, some experts are predicting that we could see speeds that are up to a full 100 times faster than 5G connections. Dr. Mayar Srivanam Aghadam from the University of Sydney claims 6G could deliver mind-boggling speeds of 1 terabyte per second or 8,000 gigabits per second. That level of speed is tough to imagine, but here's a quick tangible example for you. With current 5G technology, you can download a film from Netflix in a few seconds, assuming you have a solid connection. But with that level of data transfer on 6G networks, you could download 142 hours of content from Netflix in just one second. That level of speed is what will help bring about some of the truly revolutionary changes to our world with 6G. While it's exciting to consider downloading an entire series of television in an instant, the broader possibilities of 6G are even more enticing. A 6G network will be so efficient that your devices will likely be able to fully interact with your physical environment. Those nifty science fiction looking augmented reality displays we've seen in movies could in fact come to be a reality. With the 6G network, the devices become more like antennae, working together, improving the latency and speed at which information can transfer. It has been speculated that 6G may make it possible for cyberspace to support human thought and action in real time through wearable devices and micro devices on our bodies. We're already embracing wearable technology at a steady pace. Right now, most of the consumer-ready wearable tech tells us about ourselves and our own devices. But with 6G connectivity, these wearables could inform the world around us at rapid speeds which seamlessly blend the physical and digital worlds. What might some of this digital physical integration look like? Well, imagine any information that is currently displayed on a screen and then imagine if the screen disappeared, but the information remained in an interactable virtual space. Things like menus, vehicle displays, biometric information, travel reports, and so on could all exist in an interactive augmented reality space on a deeply personal level. So, how long do we have to wait to pull up a hollow table and spin around virtual design plans like Iron Man? When will 6G arrive? Wireless generations historically have had about a 10-year shelf life before the new generation has come to dethrone them. So if we assume the same for the development and transition from 5G to 6G, we may see some 6G technology arriving by the end of the decade, say 2029. That being said, 
Eric Ekaden, Chief Technology Officer of a leading information and communication technology firm, Ericsson, was quoted saying, It's a little too early to talk about 6G during the MWVC 2019 Shanghai in July of 2019. Ekaden speculated that it will be at least a decade before we see any sort of development of 6G technology. This does fall in line with what Huawei founder Ren Zhengfei told CNBC in September of 2019 that 6G was at least 10 years away. So even if we see the beginnings of deployment in 2029 or so, it'll likely be the early 2030s before we see some of the larger consumer applications of this next generation connectivity. So who are the major players working to change our physical world with this new tech? What is working on 6G technology? Governments are taking an active role in promoting research and development of 6G tech. Many nations around the world are feeding and funding these initiatives in an effort to best rival countries and strike gold on this technology first. According to China's state news agency, the country has already put an experimental 6G satellite into orbit. The satellite is reported as being one of 13 new satellites deployed by China on the Long March 6 rocket launch from November of 2020. The satellite reportedly weighs 70 kilograms and was made to help perform data transmission tests at long distances along the terahertz spectrum. In Europe, University of Oulu of Finland is leading the charge with what is being called the 6G flagship project. Their research is currently organized into four separate categories of interrelated strategic initiatives, including wireless connectivity, device and circuit technology, distributed computing, and services and applications. Japan is setting an extremely high bar and aims to make 6G available widely in just a few years' time. The country is devoting $482 million to build a facility where researchers can develop wireless projects and bring the country's standout mobile technologies to the head of the line by 2025. Vodafone the largest provider of mobile phone service in Germany, recently announced that it was building a 6G research facility in Dresden. This facility will work on the future of the technology and bringing it to Vodafone's 51 million customers. Quite notably, South Korean tech giant Samsung is hard at work on 6G development as well. The company is particularly interested in the possibility of holographic interface applications, which may develop alongside this new network. They've also set an ambitious goal of bringing the tech to market as early as 2028. As for the United States, the government is allowing the private sector to primarily work on this future. Although, in May of 2021, the Biden administration released a statement affirming the United States' friendly ties to the Republic of Korea and mentioned a cooperative effort on developing the future of 5G and 6G. The big three mobile networks, Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile, are all working somewhat together on their pursuit of 6G. An industry initiative called the Next Gen Alliance was created to organize and further 6G research in North America, and all three carriers are active participants. China is leading the industry with a reported majority of the patents held related to 6G. According to state media, China holds 35% of the approximately 38,000 patents related to 6G. The United States comes in second for patents, reportedly holding approximately 18% of all 6G-related patents. What happens in the meantime? While we all eagerly await the next generation of virtual meetings and interactive augmented reality, 5G will continue to improve. Engineers are hard at work on what is being referred to as 5G Advanced. Think of this as similar to the development of 4G LTE prior to 5G. An organization known as the 3GPP, composed of about 700 companies including Apple, Google and Huawei convened in July of 2021 to talk about the focus of 5G Advanced. 
These companies are committed to improving upon the existing infrastructure of 5G, though they may first have to agree on where to start. Researchers indicated that they currently had 50 areas of potential focus for advanced, but would like to narrow it down to around 20. Ting Fang Ji, Senior Director of Engineering at Qualcomm and one of the lead 5G researchers at the company, said, 5G Advanced gives us a second chance to look at the fundamental trade-offs inside 5G. Both he and Qualcomm proposed integrating machine learning into 5G and for the networks to better handle Internet of Things devices. They're also proposing to use full duplex radios in which both sides can communicate with each other simultaneously. Currently, that communication is only one way. It remains unclear if the 3GPP will take Qualcomm's focus suggestions or not. After all, have you ever tried to get 700 people to agree on anything? Wherever they settle, it's been speculated that we'll start to hear and see some of the improvements of 5G Advance in the next two to three years. And you can be sure that all the TV commercials you see will be boasting about 5G Advance so you won't miss it. Now, we wait. For now though, we eagerly await the future of information technology. It may be a whole decade before we see this come to pass, and it will all come in waves. But we couldn't be more excited at the prospect of 6G and how it will reshape the way we interact with the world around us. What do you think of the future of 6G and communication? Is it a beautiful world of integrated technology and reality? Or does it spell a dystopian future where technology has fully taken over our lives beyond belief? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to check back for more tech news.